Hello, my name is Lynn and I'm the face behind this channel and uh, lately I've been watching a lot of knitting videos here on uh, YouTube so I thought maybe I can do the same. So this is my first video where I'm talking to the camera and this video is going to be like a project vlog from the start to the finish and I'm going to be knitting the Anker sweater which is a pattern from Petite Knit. I'm going to be knitting it for my son and in the end of the video, I'm going to talk about what I liked about the pattern and what I didn't like about the pattern. So I went and bought some yarn today. I bought the Double Sunday by Sunless Garn. I went with the baby blue color. And I have knitted with this yarn before, but only a tiny baby pants. And it was only washed once, so it doesn't count. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to see how this yarn uh, behaves into a sweater. I'm going to be traveling to northern Norway tomorrow to visit my boyfriend's family. So I'm going to be filming some of the traveling and some of the process. And then I'll talk to you later when the, um, when the sweater is finished. Okay? I'm sitting here with my Pepsi Max and the finished sweater! So, as you saw in the video, it fitted really well, actually. My knitting tension was a bit off, it was a bit tighter than the, it should be, but uh, I'm not bothered with it. Of course, I did knit a little test to see my tension and I got the right uh, tension, started on sweater, and got a bit tight tension. Story of my life. But I didn't bother to uh, frog it, and uh, it's knitted in merino wool, so I think merino always gives a little, makes it, um, the garments often becomes a bit larger. That's why I didn't frog it, and it fitted, re fitted re really well. So. Um, I was a bit uh, curious about how the neck was going to be because I feel like when I knit um, round yoke, yokes, yoke, yokes, <laughs> not quite sure how you pronounce that, but often the uh, neck is sliding down the shoulder and it's very wide and I don't like that. But uh, this time it turned out pretty well. It couldn't have been any tighter but because then I would have problem with taking it over his head. So it was perfect actually. And the size of the, uh, the sweater here, I was a bit worried when I knitted it because it looked very long. But when I tried it on, I think it looked great. And uh, now he has something to grow into. And of course I had to um, fold up the cuffs here. But that, uh, I think that's okay. Uh, I knitted the size one to two years old and he's soon turning one so uh, i was expecting it to be a little big uh, although he's slightly big for his age but it turned out great so i follow the pattern the only thing that i did um did was that i picked up some extra stitches here and on the other side of the sleeve under the sleeve because i always seem to get a hole when i if I follow the pattern and only pick up the stitches that it says in the pattern, I always get this hole here. And I find that so annoying. And of course, when I fasten the threads on the back, I um, sew the hole shut 
but I feel like that's cheating. <laughs> I don't like it. So this time I've actually picked up two stitches at both sides of the of the um, of the other stitches that you will pick up under the arm, and I think it turned out very good. I like it. The other thing is that when you knit when I knit knitting patterns, the cuffs are always to be knitted on smaller needles than the sweater itself. But on this pattern, the whole sweater is to be knitted on one size, one needle size. And I'm wondering if that's gonna make the cuffs be a bit um, slack or be a bit wide. That it's not gonna be like tight and nice cuffs. I did think about it when I knitted the cuffs that I was like, okay, knit tight. <laughs> don't knit loose on these cuffs because they're going to be like, and I don't want that. So for now, they look okay, but I'm not quite sure how they will hold up after a few washes. I washed this once now and it's okay. So I guess we'll see that. And if you're afraid, if you're going to knit the same sweater and you're afraid of the cuffs being too wide, go for a half a needle uh, size smaller. I don't think that will ruin the sweater at all. So, uh, the yarn that I used was the Double Sunday by Sandnesgarn. And uh, I do like it. Um, <laughs> not completely sold, as you might have guessed, but I don't think merino wool is my favorite, so I'm not sure if I'm the one, I'm, I'm the right person to judge. But as it, um, as a merino yarn, it's it's good. I like it. But for grown up, uh, for for sweaters, for me, for example, I think that it will lose mid shape because uh, I think merino wool doesn't have the same hold as you know, hundred percent wool. So for children's children wear, where the garment can grow with the child, super. But I'm a bit uh, skeptical for a grown up, for, for um, adult sweaters. Okay, so the result is that, um, that I'm very pleased and I'm absolutely gonna knit, the, knit the, this sweater again. It was a quick knit. It was quick and fun and I love this. It's really addictive, but like, just one more section, one more section. Okay. <laughs> so it was fun to knit. I enjoyed it. This was my first uh, talking video. And scary as it was, it was also very fun. <laughs> so if you want to see more, then uh, please comment below, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll, go, I'll see you next time.